this is the um, pilot robot platform, which is a, a hosted Jupyter notebook that we run in the cloud. Um, we start by importing uh, the liquid handler and the simulator backend. Um, then we create those and set them up. As soon as I set them up, you can see on the right here, uh, the simulator appeared. Um, then to set up the deck, um, we import a couple of resources. Um, and then as soon as I assign a resource, like a tip carrier, you can see it appear on the right here. On a real robot, you uh, unfortunately cannot do this. You have to put in a resource yourself and then tell pilot robot where the resource is. Um, within the simulator, we um, add them when you call assign. Um, let's do the same for a, a plate carrier here. Um, and then on a real robot, you would need to fill the tips uh, in the tip rack and like put liquid in the noels. Um, in the simulator, you cannot do this. So we provide these methods called fill tips in a just whole volume, um, which do what they sound like. Um, you can see here um, that since we have alternating um, 100 and 800 microliters of volume, uh, that the opacity of the wells will reflect the amount of liquid in a well as a, as a visual cue. Um, and then for the liquid handling protocol, we want to uh, pick up a tip from uh, tip eight, eight, eight six, um, which as you can see, takes a little while, just like it would in a real robot to sort of represent reality. Um, you can turn this off if you are in a, in a rush. Um, then we aspirate from the top right here. It's just 10 microliters, so it's not really visible, um, but we aspirate it. Um, and then we dispense into the same well. And then finally, when we are done with this very simple protocol, we can put the tip back and you will see it reappear at the bottom here. All right, so when I have uh, written this method in the cloud, um, I can actually go and download this notebook. Um, and then on the uh, OpenTron, uh, for which I have a notebook here, um, I can upload uh, this file, which we have just written. Um, like upload, open a notebook. And then there are, of course, a couple of things we need to change to go from a simulated environment to an actual robot. Um, we can still use the same liquid handler API, um, but then instead of the simulator backend, um, we are gonna use um, the OpenTrons backend. And then instead of instantiating a simulator backend, we will um, instantiate the OpenTrons backend. And then you can see where we pass backend equals the simulator backend here. Um, we're gonna pass the OpenTrons backend. I'm gonna go setup, which takes a little while. Um, can move on to deck setup. Um, we have to uh, import a little bit different resources because we use uh, a different layout on the stack. Um, now you can see that um, we import the uh, Corning CoStar plate here, which typically is a Hamilton plate, but it can also work with the open trans. Um, and this resource is defined as a Venus resource, which is really cool. Um, and then instead of the carrier, we define the tips uh, as the uh, open trans tips and then use the same plate. And I'll assign the resources to the robot. This, the resources are in the robot. Um, I just have to tell pilot robot that we have them. Uh, oh, I already ran that code. All right, I'm gonna remove the simulator specific code, of course, um, but I can keep the liquid handling protocol, which is the most important part. Um, so. Are you uh, ready? All right. Um, so I, in the, uh, uh, hi, there's. Oh, sorry, could, could we see it? Uh, I think Do you want to not... move your computer over to the, um, uh, save it towards the other I could actually hop on the Zoom sure. from my phone. Yeah, that's a great idea, do that. All right, in a second. Right. Um, you could imagine in a real script something like a flag, like if simulate do x, else um, do y. Um, just for the simplicity of running everything in a notebook and highlighting the differences, um, I haven't done this. Um, but in a real script, you would like import a file that like sets up your simulator environment or something. Um, and an important point is that in, in this demonstration, it looks like it's a lot, but generally the liquid handling protocol itself 
is incredibly long, like thousands of lines of code. So this is really just the first couple of steps to initiate whether or not you're on or about. That. So I think we're good. Picked up a tip, as y'all can see. Um, and then we aspirate from the plate. We're just aspirating air here, but you can imagine this is liquid. Um, and then we put the air uh, back. And then when we are done, we uh, also put the tip back. All right. Yeah, um, yes. All right. So now we have run something on the open tram. Um, but as many of you know, we also have Hamilton's uh, in the other building, um, which we can also control. Um, I have a, a live video feed here um, of the Hamilton's. <laughs> um, I'm FaceTiming with the Hamilton's. <laughs> Um, and then here I'm going to uh, upload the same notebook um, we just wrote in the simulator. We can, again, import liquid handler. Um, we have to do some things we just did. There's a little bit less of a reconfiguration since the simulator uh, currently works best, best with the Hamiltons. Um, in the future, we'll make the simulator work with open trans to uh, like provide a better integration. So just import star, um, which is the model of the, the Venus robot that we use, um, and then create a backend called star and pass it to the liquid handler. And then call setup, which displays some things. Um, as for the deck setup, we can use the same deck setup we used in the simulator. Um, this I have set up. Uh, in advance, um, remove these cells again, um, and then we can pick up a tip remotely, aspirate some air, and kindly put the air back again. And finally, discard the tip uh, to the tip rack. All right. Then includes the demo. <laughs> just to recap what we just saw, um, we wrote a method online without having to have access to a robot or installing any software. Um, then we ran the same method uh, on an open trans robot using a mix of resources defined by OpenTrans uh, and Hamilton's Venus, um, and then run the same method uh, remotely uh, on the OpenTrans. Uh, 